maybe I just don't know how to use these the team channels, but uh, uh, once I open my screens, I don't get to see you. So I do want some interactions. So if, if you don't mind, just speak out when I, whenever I ask some questions, uh, they'll be greatly appreciated. Again, my name is Kevin. Um, today, uh, uh, we are going to talk about growth mindset. Uh, you probably heard it a lot uh, in a famous book title, Growth Mindset. Um, and then um, Daniel has given me this particular uh, topics today for me to talk about. Um, so without further ado, uh, let me ask this one question. Um, and really, I, I really want to ask you these questions. Uh, it's pretty simple, plain questions, but uh, but you never maybe have an opportunity to think about it this before. But question is, do you want to grow? Yeah, um, I want, I'm, I'm going to let yes. that sink in for like next 10 seconds or so. Do you really want to grow? Yes. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, okay. That, that, that means that, that you have a desire, right? And desire is something that, you know, I don't think you can force by anybody else. It's something that I, I do believe is a gift. That if, you, if, if you're desiring for something, if you really think about it, it's given to you. Let's recognize that for a second. Let, I'm going to let this sink in for a second, okay? If you really want to truly want to grow, that desire was given to you. And I do consider that as a gift. So let's begin uh, this talk or this discussion by uh, whomever who says yes to this question is that you receive gift, that you receive it, okay? And uh, one of the things you need to do the, as a person who received the gift, when you receive a gift, the best thing you can do to the giver is actually say, wow, right? Let's say that someone give you Christmas or a birthday gift and you say, ah, don't want it. I don't want it. And that's the probably worst thing you can do to the giver, right? The best thing you can do is like open the box and say like, wow, what a wonderful gift this is and, and take care of it and use it every day kind of there, right? That's the best thing you can do. Now you have a desire was given as a gift and you want to grow, right? Let's uh, let's start from there. So you do have a desire to grow. Then what does it mean? All right. So what is the growth mindset? I mean, we heard this term many times, right? And many people can interpret it in different ways. I brought this one of the one of the definition from uh, the website. Uh, let me read this out to you. Growth mindset describes a way of viewing challenges and setbacks. People who have a growth mindset believe that even if they struggle with a certain skills and their ability armed or not set in stone, they think that with work, their skills can improve over time. Again, then I want to I want to highlight where I, I highlight those red highlight. It is growth mindset is actually the way of viewing things, especially challenges and setbacks. Okay, let me repeat this one more time. A way of viewing things, right? So keep that in mind. A way of viewing. In other words, you can say that that's how you see the world. Can you agree with me? Good? Good to go? Yes. So growth mindset. The growth mindset is a way of viewing things, like literally viewing like how you see the world, right? That's a growth mindset. That's how you see the world, the mindset. Actually, mindset is when you when you when you when you draw, let's say that you're 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 nine years old or ten years old. I have a ten year old son or eight year old daughter. If if they draw mine, they usually draw like heart shape, right? <laughs> and then you don't really see the heart, but the, that's how you see the world. And that's literally uh, the definition of the growth mindset. Now, how you see the world, I, I hope you're following me, how you, the growth mindset is how you What is your vision? And it's really hard to, difficult to answer the question sometimes, right? It, 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 you know, even though it is very simple questions, it is like, whoa, I don't know what my vision is, but the, what, what if someone asks you the same question and saying, what do you see? What do you see, Gina? What do you see, Jeremy? What do you see, Daniel? Then you can see like, oh, I see this. I see that, 
right? It's easier to answer that way. So now let me just go recap one more time. So make sure that you guys are all following. The growth mindset, the mindset is something about how you view the things, especially setback and challenges. But now how you view things is the same thing as how you see the world. And how you see the world is literally that is how your vision, right? Now let's ask this question then. What is the visions of NK? Eric, what is the visions of NK? Um, to cultivate world-class leaders. There you go, there you go. That is the mindset, and that is actually the vision and what NK sees uh, to, to cultivate the world-class leaders. And as simple as that, right? Now, NK, in that in that in that def definition in that in that in that uh, descriptions the nk wants you to become a world class leaders and quite frankly this is how nk sees you everyone here like next kernel is entity right it's a company company is uh literally the meaning of the company is a come is a come together like compassion come penny is uh you know penny is pen bread so this is a group of people who come together to share bread. They're a company. And so NK is a company, and company actually, NK sees you as a becoming a world-class leaders. So now the question is, do you want to become world-class leaders? Now, we, I ask these questions to begin this talk. Do you want to grow? So now, again, it's coming back to, question of your desire. It's no longer the company's vision or someone else's vision. Now you got to ask this question and it is there. NK want you to grow as a world-class leaders. Now question is, do you want to? And I know it is pretty simple question, but it, sometimes you, you have to take this question seriously, I think, uh, because now it's coming down to you, you to make decisions, whether you want to grow or not. So now what now? <laughs> let's, you, let's say you have a desire to grow, you have the gift. That's an amazing gift that you have to take care of. The precious gift you knew, and now you're at the right place because NK sees you as a world-class leader, becoming a world-class leader. And now question is now what? I have a question for you. Uh, you see the pictures that the five froggy? <laughs> and uh, there's a five froggy on the log. And let me ask these questions. Out of five froggy, four froggy decides to jump on the log. Again, four froggy decided to jump on the log. How many froggy on the log? Daniel, how many froggy on the log? <laughs> four of them. Huh? Four. Four. So four mm -hmm. decides to jump on the log. Mm -hmm. Now, how many do we have? There's a five frog in right now, right? Four well, decided one, one to left. jump. Huh? Uh, one left and four of them in the jumping to the log. Okay, thanks for thanks for answering this question. Well, let me ask one more question. One more person. Um, I don't see anybody, but uh, I remember. Um, what about Gina? You say there is five frog in the log and the four frog decide to jump. And you Correct. say how many frogs are left in the log, right? Correct, yes. Um, if four frog jump in the log, maybe one. <laughs> you you are um uh math math. Decided to jump. How many left on the log? Oh, still five of them. Still five of them in the log. <laughs> there is a desire, not jumping yet. So still five will stay on the log. All right, all right. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is an example from the book of uh, the 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth. Well, you know, um, there's difference between deciding and actually doing things, right? Can you agree with me? I mean, sometimes like, you know, when you decide, you actually can do it, but the, it actually, 
is making decisions and actually doing it. Is it the same thing? I want you to think about that this morning. And a lot of times, like, I want to do this. I want to grow. I want to really grow. I make decision to grow today. What does that mean? <laughs> like, just frog in saying, like, I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump. I'm just still on the lock, right? After one year or two years, three years, right? So maybe, maybe making decisions and actually doing it, maybe it's not the same thing. Now, I want you to remember this. Uh, there's only a few concepts I want you to take away from this session this morning. I know we only spent 20 minutes together, 30 minutes together, but the, 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 just a just a, just few things I want you to take away is the froggy. Remember the froggy, okay? <laughs> the growth is not automatic. I know you want to, you have a desire to grow. You have a heart and mindset to grow, but the John C. Maxwell says growth is not automatic. If you are just making decisions, that doesn't mean that you will grow. So I want you to remember this. In other words, growth is not automatic. Therefore, you can say you need to be intentional. And you need to be intentional about your growth. Okay. Now, one of the best ways, be one of the best vehicles is to visualize your vision, which is your mindset. Is that what I call heaviting? Uh, uh, the heaviting is the word word just I came up with. Um, my wife and I came up with is you know basically have it and ing doing something right. Um, so uh, here's some steps that I, I, I organize, and I, I hope this resonated with you. First of all, you have to be uh, the first thing is the visioning, and you have to visioning who you want to become. Not yet. But the, let's say you assume that you have a desire to grow, but now you have to vision yourself, vision, visualize yourself like, I want to become this person. After I grow, I want to become this person, the person you want to be, want to want to become. You have to visioning. You have to do the, the visualizing, the visioning. And then when you once you have a vision, you have to set the goals. Right. Let me give you some shocking data here. You know, it's about 75% of American people set, set some sort of the resolution. So 75% of American, right? So that 25% who does not set the goal, they will never, they, they will not going to achieve the goals, right? But 75% of the, the people, only, 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 only uh, the 92% of those people who set the goals never achieve their goal. So out of 100 people, in America, set uh, the, only six about six person six people achieve their goal. We can say the goal setting doesn't work, right? But however, I still recommend you to set goals because the once you set the goals, that helps you see things better. Let me let me repeat this one more time. I hope this is resonated with you. Once you visualize who you want to become. And you set goals, and that goal setting frame will help you stay focused on the route. Let me move on. The first, you need to visualize who you want to become, then set the goals accordingly. And now the important thing is you need to work on it daily. Again, the key here is the daily. And you, when you want to do something daily, when you do something daily, we call that habit, okay? So let's say that you want to become this person. I want to grow to this person, and you set the goals accordingly and work on that daily, and that become your habit. I call it habiting, and that is the, the, the key, success, secret of the success. Now, I'll give you this one example, and I know this is pretty, uh, um, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, just a funny, funny example. Okay, uh, I don't want to make it too serious here. This is this is the one of the videos that the NK library possess. Uh, obviously, one on the left is Daniel, and one on the right, uh, I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> Daniel, who's this guy on the left, right? Oh yeah, he's a uh, you know old Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is me actually. That's uh, about a little more than two years ago. 
Uh, I, 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 I brought, you know, when it comes to growth, I mean, it's a holistic matter. It's just all about, you know, whole thing, not just one aspect of the life, but there's, it's still the holistically speaking is one person, right? There's the physical growth, spiritual growth, emotional growth, mental growth, holistically speaking. But this is one example of the physical growth example. So going back to, uh, yeah, just, just looking at these pictures, uh, you know, that was about two, more than two years ago. I, I think I was about 220 pounds. And now I'm about 160. Uh, now, you know, losing weight doesn't mean that, you know, you I grew in something, but actually I'm a lot healthier person today than two, two years ago. Uh, let me let me apply this rules here. Uh, visioning and setting goals and then working daily and making habit out of this. So two years ago, you know, I, you know, but I had a gift. I had a gift in me and saying, wow, I have desires. I want to live healthier lifestyle. I want to grow physically, like not not gaining muscle sake, but I want to be healthier, right? So that was a that was something I received as a gift, my desires to live in a healthier lifestyle. And I, I that 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 day I, I visualized myself, I I I I'll be that healthier lifestyle person. And I, I you know according to that, and daily I worked on it. You know I change, I study what I have to eat, how I have to change my life how I to exercise and all that. That was the old daily compounding matter. It became a habit. And after, after, and now I, I'm, I'm, I'm happily to inform you that I grew in my physical area of my life. I'm much healthier, you know, not only losing weight, but my blood pressures and all my clarity, mental clarity and everything else got a lot better. But the key was work on it daily and be intentional about the growth. I hope this uh, example kind of kind of resonate with you. Now, let me just recap uh, the, the 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 talk here. And so we, I'm going to open up for the Q and A after this. But uh, uh, first, you have to desire it. You have to want it, right? Uh, and then again, desire part. I literally truly believe it's a gift. If you if you have a desire to grow today, you receive a gift, and do not take it for granted. It's given to you. You need to take care of it. Now you wanted it. Now and you, you you do. Now second thing is vision. You have to see it. You have to see who you want to become, how you want to grow, and you have to set goals and you have to set it, and you have to start living it. Life, will it? You have to put your will willpower, which is willpower, is limited resources. You want to make sure you want to put your willpower into your priority, which is the important things in your life, right? And you can do a thousand different things, but uh, it's not important things to you. You're not truly living the potential of your life, right? You're just living it, right? So the four things, desire, you have to want it. Vision, you have to see it. And goal, you have to set the goals. And life, you have to will it. And now, I will say this in NK. One day, just one day, living as a world-class leaders, okay? I'm not saying living it as one year or 10 years. I'm just saying it one day, living it as a world class leader. And the secret is this, do it again and do it again. One day, you may feel like you fell down. I was like, oh man, I'm not a world class leader, whatever. You may feel, feel that way, but the secret is get up again and just do live another day. One day. One day living as a world class leader and do it again and again and again. Get back up, get back up, do it again and again. Now, one last thing I want to say is I want you to remember this. Just, uh, just I want you to think about this throughout the today is when it comes to growth, the person you want to become, the world class leader you want to be, you need to be intentional. Daily, beautiful world, daily. We have this gift of desire. We also have a gift of today. Today, the, 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 the time we'll be spending, how many hours we'll be spending the rest of today, do not take for granted. It is a gift to receive that, that you, if you have a desires, just be intentional daily about your personal growth. And they become and live and start living as world class leader today and tomorrow again. <laughs> With that, I'm gonna I'm gonna 
stop sharing the screens and Thank you so much, uh, Kevin. You're great. We make a big hand for the parents. Yeah, great. Thank you, Kevin. I get to see everyone now. So, hi, hello, hello, Dan. Oh, I get to see you again. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, any question for Kevin? Esther. Yes, I have a question. So, Kevin, I know you uh, you're, you're um, very uh, organized person. I know that. <laughs> so, what is the, your, uh, you know, briefly, what is the, your daily habit you're doing now? Great questions. Uh, you know, um, this week was kind of thrown off because uh, I was tested positive uh, COVID this week. So, I've been home all week, but... Uh, uh, um, but just giving you uh, last last year's uh, uh, my daily routine. Great question, by the way. Uh, uh, so uh, it may sounds crazy, but uh, but uh, this is what I've been how I've been operating quite some time now. You know, um, the priority what is important to you right and then spend your time schedule your time according to your priority not according to your busy schedule you have to really know discern distinguish what is important to me i give you an example is my health important oh yes oh yes absolutely Absolutely, it is, it is important, right? So now, is my family important? Yes, yes, it's important to me. So let me give you that two example, okay? I, I do get up early in the morning, uh, 4.50, around 5 o'clock. And, uh, and, 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 and so, so those two things, I, you know, I do read and, and other things too, but I just want to give you this one, two example. Uh, because like a lot of times, like, you know, no one disagree with me and say, is your health important? Yes, of course. Is your family important? Oh, of course, yes. But the, this is how the people not operating according to habit. So now, for example, health is important, right? Uh, so, so I make sure that I do get 17 minute workout six days out of the week. So I do that in the morning. So I, I schedule my priority in the morning. So Let's say, for example, in the morning, you know, I don't get interruption from work or anything else, right? You know, who's going to call me at five o'clock in the morning and say, like, you know, hey, come to work, right? So you have to schedule, you have to, you have to put your priority, the, 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 you know, design your day and say, like, you know, if I get to work out before I come to work, then I'm, I'm already finished working out today, right? I only work out 17 minutes, again, 17 minutes. You know, I calculate everything. I go to the gym. We have a community gym, so it takes me about five minutes to get to the gym. I work out 17 minutes, and then I get out. I come home, and every whole thing will be done in between 20 to 25 minutes. Right? That's one thing. The other thing, you know, spending time with the – I'm talking about quality time with my kids are important, right? It's super important. No one's going to disagree with me, right, with me, all right? But so I schedule my time. With my son, one of the first thing when he gets up, he spent time with me. My wife spent time with daughter every morning, Monday through Friday. So we set aside 20 to 30 minutes first thing in the morning when he gets up. By the time he gets up, I'm already up. I've been running and all that. So what we do is we sit down, we read together. Not like he's reading his own book and I'm reading my own book. No, we pick one book. So for example, uh, one of the books that... uh. Uh, you know, we, we, we basically pick one book and then we read aloud together. He read one page, I, re I read one page, and we talk about that, what we read. And after that, we exercise. He picks, sometimes he picks basketball, and uh, he, he we do just stretching sometimes, you know, we walk. So those things, the two things in the morning. So uh, we read together and we exercise together. And we talk during the week, during, during those times, right? And so we do that. Let's say I just do that on uh, just a uh, rough mass about 20, 30 minutes. Let's say 30 minutes or 25 minutes. I do that five times a week. And that's roughly two hours a week. And roughly that is eight hours a, a month. Correct. And spending 
one day, let's say you take a day off from the job and then spend all day with sun once a, once a month, right? By doing that, you can do that also. But at the same time, you just do that 20, 30 minutes in the morning, every morning, and you actually spend one full quality time, one-on-one with my son. And that is a precious gift I use in the morning time. And I schedule that in the morning, right, intentionally, so no one can bother us. So, and so, so again, those two examples, I just want to stress out and say, like, you have to really know your priority first. And then you schedule your priority into your schedule. Or on your calendar, don't, nothing should come into your calendar unless you know this, that that's your priority, right? So that, that's an example. So before I, I get to my office, my first meeting starts at 9.15. And uh, before I get to my office and start my first 9.15 meetings, I do eight to nine activities. And that become, I mean, in the beginning, it was kind of hard for me to get to that routine. But once you get to routine, you don't think that because, the, you know, the decision fatigue, you know, you don't have to make decisions when you, when you get up in the morning. <laughs> you know exactly what you need to be doing. You stretch, you eat, and then you make the cup of coffee and then go to work out and spend time with the sons and make the snacks and, and breakfast up for my family and, and pack my lunch and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> By 9.15, when I get to my office, when I start my first meeting, I'm already won the battle for a day, right? I've, I've done eight things I, I thought that, that was important to my life. I'm finished, right? So anyway, so going back to your question, I know it's long answers. So great questions. My morning routines is, is out of the habit, but that has been serving my life so much, for, was so good for 2022. So I think I'm going to continue. Great. Hope that answers your question. Sorry for long answers. Yeah, this is very interesting. And then also, want to, that's what I want to know so I can apply to my life too. So thank you. Oh, thank you. Thanks for asking. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Uh, this is not yeah. a question. This is not a question. I just want to add some words. Uh, this is, I think this is a natural law, a true. Uh, that, I mean, don't live uh, with the intentional or uh, intentional mind, or we may become uh, getting worse and worse. So, in order to get bad. Uh, things in order to uh, become uh, a worse person, we don't have to be intentional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. see, in order to get good thing, in order to in order to become better person, we need to be intentional. Yeah. Agree, agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can live it as a default, then we can be <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's all natural. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Thanks for sharing your insight. <laughs> okay. Thank you for sharing the Jonathan. Then, yeah, Dahl, uh, you have a question for Kevin? No, I'm not sure I have a question, but I'm very impressed about that uh, Kevin's routine. So I try to <laughs> do my best. <laughs> start today yes <laughs> thank, thank you i think that's a compliment thank you darwin <laughs> tell me how, how about you thinking that kevin is the daily routine this is a normal person doing how about your thoughts um i don't know that i'm gonna be up at four or five in the morning but uh i like the idea that you schedule everything before and so it's just your priority comes first in time and in mindset is, is nice. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And Gina, any, any comment or message? Well, it's, 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 kind, it's kind of like what Esther asked, but what is your hobby? I mean, do you have different hobby like what you do daily, like except for working out? 
you know um it's 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 kind of personal question if it's oh no 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 so, yeah great question great question so uh you know i i i love thinking and organizing my thoughts uh that that is one of the hobbies i have um you know um you know, uh, you know, there's a word called uh, musing. Uh, we don't use that word quite a bit. Musing in Korean language is called sasek. Sasek, sasek kada. It's called, like in the English term, we don't really use that word too much. You know, we, we can say think deeply, but, uh, you know, it doesn't justify the meanings of it. So musing is something that, you know, that I think I think the origin of the musing came from, like, you know, museum. Like when you go to mm -hmm. museum, you think through looking at the art and you know museum, right? You think through those artist artist mindset, right? So musing is something that I I, I you know I you can do anywhere, right? You, when you walk, when you run, you know you can you lay down on the bed. You can you can muse all the time. So that's one of my hobby. And the other hobby that personal level I have to mention is uh, spending time with my wife is my one of the mm -hmm. hobby that I have. And then even spending my wife that time with the wife is. I, I set them up weekly basis, so we meet. Um, we meet every Saturday. <laughs> I mean, we we meet every day, and we meet every day. Don't get me wrong; we live together. <laughs> but the, what I'm saying is, we set a time. We set a time that session. We schedule that. Actually, I send an invite. <laughs> send my wife an invite, and we meet, and we ask each other and have conversation. And we ask this. We begin. We usually begin the meetings with asking this question and saying, "How are you?" You know, it sounds crazy, right? But the, as, a, as a spouse, busy life with the two kids running around, right? Sometimes if you don't set your priority aside, we actually put the signs outside and say, don't bother us, kiddos. We're having our own time. And that's, oh, one that's of the, very nice. the hobby that I enjoy immensely. <laughs> Hope my so wife like, enjoys that too. Right? Like time yes, with once, your wife. Once a week. Uh, usually we step for 90 uh, I look forward to having my, uh, um, I call it uh, weekly date meetings. <laughs> and I, 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 I enjoy that time immensely. That's really nice. Thank you. Thanks for asking. Oh, yeah. You know what? Is a, Kevin is a sweet person. He's a, he's a pony, candy, everything is a, he got it. He's a, he's a so sweet person, he's a sweet husband. <laughs> so every week, two hours, the intentionally dating with a, Spouse, that's beautiful. Wow, amazing. Thank you so much, Kevin. It's a, you know, 2023 is our new year. January's first open lectures that you're starting. So we are really greatly appreciated, Kevin. Thank you so much. Okay. We make a big hand for you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me and uh, great to see everyone. I, I see so many people here in the NK campus. So um, I'm so grateful. All right. See you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Have an awesome day and awesome Bye. 2023. Bye.